You guys want to watch Tommy Boy when we get home? <laughs> <laughs> Today's video was brought to you by Squarespace. Stick around to see how you can get 10% off your first purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Junkyard Digs. Today we'll be doing our first annual revival races. We found two cars in similar conditions that have been parked for a similar amount of time, and we're going to see which team can get their vehicle running and driving first. Today's teams consist of me and my buddy Jaden on one team, and on the other team we have Luke, or Thunderhead289, and our buddy Angus Wacker. To keep things fair, we found a couple old Mopars that have been sitting on the farm for the last four or five years. Both of these vehicles popped up for sale on Facebook Marketplace, and it gets better judgment, I bought them both as fast as I could for this exact reason. Jaden and I will be tackling a 1977 Dodge D100 van with a 360 and a 727 transmission. Meanwhile, Angus and Luke will be fighting a 1989 Dodge W150 with a 318 and a Holley TVI fuel injection system. Like I said earlier, the goal is to see which team can get their vehicle to reliably run first and then which team can get their vehicle to drive down the road. So without further ado, gentlemen, start your engines. To kick things off, we'll check in with Team Van as they try to set up a fuel system. We have an external fuel system here because we believe likely the fuel pump does not work. So I think all we really need to do is hook that up. Uh, the battery even holds a charge, so we're just going to give it fuel and see what happens. This one should be potentially really easy. I'm making a mess. <laughs> what uh, What's happening now? Well, I just poured gas all over everything in here. <laughs> Revival with friends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hopefully a friend does not Hang need on. a revival at the end. And our line is right here. Well, I got a Cuddy McGee and I got Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good. This is from, be great. From two years ago that were in the toolbox. Oh, <laughs> oh well, we're at first I was enticed line. and now I'm not so enticed. Weren't you a Girl Scout? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're even Thin Mints. I know, they're the best kind. How do you forget those? It's like a high quality or high. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Note that they're like white. <laughs> There you go. Whee! Preservatives. Yeah, tastes They're fine. probably fine. <laughs> oh, good. Someone left a key on. Huh. I don't have any accelerator pump. This is kind of moist now. Let's, uh, I need something to. Go ahead and run it. I don't think we're going to have an accelerator pump, honestly. But we can try to crank it and see what happens. Everyone ready? I am. And park. That does not sound this good. doesn't sound good. Yeah, just a minute, just a minute. Because like, when I was trying to get it to run, I might advance the timing. So oh. if you pick off the cap and just see which way the rotor turns, because I don't remember, and then back off the timing a touch, I think that would help. So you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, I left it loose, so. Gotcha. Because there was a certain point, you know, when I wanted to get so I could mow, it would make it run enough that I could move it. Gotcha. Yep. I need to. You want some spray power? Yes, actually. Well, we're seeing if we even have fuel in the car, but. Well, so. We don't have really accelerator pump for sure. Um, I know we got like three vacuum leaks right here. So we can address that, but just to see if there's any fuel at all. I'm not putting my face over it. One of them is <laughs> a call. good port. Hmm? Yeah. We might have some issues with our new fuel tank orientation. Well, that's what I was saying. You got to go up and around. So if you're not... If your uh, little vein pump's too wore out to draw the fuel up, it's not going to do anything. Got a little. Let's loosen this fitting and see if we have 
fuel at the carb at all. While Jaden and I struggled with our fuel system, the other team started scheming. Yeah, so apparently this is a race, so, you know, no one, no one ever wins anything playing fair, no. so I think we're going to sabotage them a little bit. We because have oil wire. We, we have, think they have one. I heard sabotage. Tank tools. <laughs> <laughs> Not to waste any time, Luke immediately hopped into action, confirming the ignition system was functional. Doing this here, we're just, hold on, don't electrocute me just yet. <laughs> we, uh, basically the magnetic trigger there that's in the distributor will turn over and signal when the coil is supposed to discharge. So we just have a spark plug on the coil lead, so we should see from turning it over the spark plug sparking, or I'll get electrocuted, one or the other. Give her a go. Ready to die? Yeah, probably. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Yeah, that's good. So, in theory, if we have spark to our plugs down at our end, why don't you go ahead and put that on in the plug wire? I'll hook the coil back up and just see if we got spark at that end. Oh, if we prime. don't, our cap and rotor is the only thing in between. So, here, your turn. You hold that to a ground. Oh, good. I was worried. I was worried I wouldn't get my shot. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, you. Yep, good. Spark up to the end? Yeah. The die loser? Yeah, probably. Ready? Rest in peace, eyebrows. Yep. Ruling out a fuel issue, they popped the cap and rotor off to give everything a good cleaning. Oh, she's been on there a while. There we go. Here. There you go. Good, Neil. Oh. Ooh. Dude, check that out. That's <laughs> pretty gnarly. That's crazy that it would even spark like that. Grab, grab your knife and we'll just scrape some of that garbage off. Oh, oh, man. We've got these miscellaneous keys. That's not as effective. I do have that. Holy crap, is that, if it's cracked, it'll, it won't start no matter how clean it is. No, she's not cracked. Got a lot of carbon on top on the uh, pickup. Just residue. I'm just amazed it could spark like that. I bet you the dang rotor was darn near touching this stuff. Yeah, she's been having some bad times, I can tell you that. Man, why did I get stuck with the fuel injected one? That you seems, volunteered. That seems backwards. You were given an option. I'm the other guy. What the heck's going on over here? Mind your own business. I just came over here to throw some rocks in your engine. Oh, don't you so that? Win. Meanwhile, back at the van, we were diagnosing fuel system issues and finally found that no fuel was getting into the carb. I think we still have needle and seat issues, but we will see. <laughs> Girl. Suddenly, the next thing we knew, each team had noise coming from the engine bay. <laughs> oh, <turn it> off. <laughs> That was a race, and we won. I'm sorry. That's the goal to get run. What Luke and Angus didn't count on was the fact that they were still working on a Dodge. Both teams panicked and tried some last-ditch efforts to get their car running before the others. All right, we'll go again. I don't know. Extra help? I don't know how injection works. Just go. <laughs> we have a needle and seat failure. I don't know what you guys have. So, Injection. Oh pull the top of our car Engineering off. failure. 
<laughs> sure enough, despite their momentary victory, the Dodge started acting up again and would no longer idle, or even run. <laughs> We had ignition for like point, like point two seconds. Well, I'll clean it again. Maybe we can get a couple of feet each time. <laughs> Dang it! So we we both thought we were close for a second there, but we're not. Uh, we have a bad needle in seat, so we're gonna pull the top of the carb off. See what style. I might be able to replace the accelerator pump. I have a carb kit for it. Uh, I didn't bring a cap and rotor for either of these for whatever reason. So those guys are probably fighting that, but. We might be okay. Or so I thought. Yes, other team. Can we borrow that? No. Oh, can we borrow that rotor too? Oh, thank you, guy. This is sabotagery if I've ever seen it. It is too. We get like a 10 minute handicap. Right? You're handicapped as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> The fuel injection isn't exactly our handicap. Our handicap is our own inability to plan. Hey, I just came along. Yeah, you me got, too. I you, mean, our, our is a relative term. <laughs> Kevin is what I mean by our. Feeling confident in their progress, Angus decided to check out the structural integrity of the truck. Hey, you're punching on my feet. That's so unnerving. Meanwhile, in the van, we've removed the top of the carburetor to reveal the most disgusting float bowl I've ever seen. Okay, so we got our carb top off. Uh, it's literally full of. Oh my! I don't know what it's full of. Looks like dirt. Hey, hey, Luke, come check this out. No, no, no! You're gonna no, want to see this. Yeah, you want to see it. Look what was in this carburetor bowl. That deep, like I stuck the pliers straight down. <clears throat> what is it? Like, look at this. Oh, you know what it's doing? <laughs> no. That's part of the carburetor. Is it eating it? Yeah, I think that's probably the alcohol in it. Um, Maybe. Mopar. It's gonna be no car. <laughs> it's <laughs> literally <laughs> turning itself into no car. Right, so we're gonna soak all this, what honestly looks like water out, and then spray everything out the best we can, replace everything, all the components in this top piece, and try it again. Let's see if we can beat the TBI guys. <laughs> what did you do? Did you pee in that? <laughs> so, as you can see here, we've absorbed all of the quote unquote gasoline, and there is a pile of putty in the bottom. I've never seen that before, and it could very well be it's eating the metal, but all the metal doesn't look corroded at all. Dude, this is an obscene amount of poop in here. I thought for sure this would be a clean carb and away we go or fixed fuel pump, but no, this thing was completely full of like calcium. Now it was right about this point when I was spraying out the main jets and I had a whole accelerator pump chamber full of pressurized brake clean that disaster struck. I have to listen to you, I can't open my eyes now. I was literally like, I'm gonna go grab my glasses before anything gets in my eyes. And I had like my finger over this cylinder that was pressurized and I reset it and went Oh no! Look at the, all, is that fuel all over your hand? Look at the ethanol. No, that's the carbon stuff in the, whatever was in the tank, last time it must have ran, filled the carb and then it, because the, the, the body of the carb is fine. Oh, it looks like all that ethanol I stuff. Yeah, I can flip on the water. Nah, we got, we brought, I think okay, 11 right, gallons of water. We brought some new eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, this incident cost my team a good 20 minutes as I poured water into my eyeballs hoping that they would just fall out. Meanwhile, Luke and Angus had removed the old plugs and were ready to put their new ones in. So you can see our plugs are nice and dirty and wet with fuel. Who knows if it's because when it was trying to run off of the actual fuel system on the vehicle it was bad gas so it wasn't sparking or what, but it seems like if we cleaned just one plug up and then tried to run the engine, it would actually run. So the only thing I can figure is just it can't jump the gap when it's dirty where it can outside of the vehicle because there's no um, compression on the plug so it can jump a gap really easy. But when you're under uh, cylinder pressure like we are with the spark plug in the 
chamber where it's supposed to be, they can't jump the gap and any anomaly in the spark plug wires, which there's a plethora of them on this thing, it can jump, it'll jump the gap. It'll just take the path of least resistance, which is probably not that at the moment. So some new plugs, we'll spray it with some carb cleaner, see if it lights off and then, spray your eyes with carb cleaner. and we're not going to spray our eyes like Kevin. And uh, well, we both have glasses because we're blind already. Yeah, so we don't, we don't have fine. a lot to like, lose. It's not even a loss, plus we're already protected. Golly, that's that's really wet. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. It's got carbon across the electrode. So, One set of new spark plugs later, and they were ready to roll. All right, so we can hear our fuel pump running. I'm not sure if our injectors work or not, but at the moment, we have them unplugged from the electrical, so they're their normal resting state should be normally closed so they if they're not hanging open they shouldn't be flowing any fuel with the fuel pump on but that might be why everything's doused in fuel because they're just hanging open so we'll just give it a spritz we did not check our firing order which guaranteed will be a problem in two seconds go ahead and fire it Ah, okay. amazing what some plugs that aren't doused in fuel will do. So are your eyes when they're not doused. I can't see. Oh, it's actually a bit better, but I can't open my right eye. We would be able to like, fire ours up in a few seconds, but you guys took our cap and rotor for no reason, and our okay. peg wires yep. are everywhere. Well, Watch it. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll just pull a lighter and end it. <laughs> hey, fire it again. The injectors are hooked up. Okie dokie, Smokey. Which is what we're about to be. Give her a chew. Done. Did you shut it off? Yeah, I shut it off. Okay. I think that's it. Winner. Did it, will it rev? Oh yeah, okay. mate. Right. Well, let's not worry about that now. <laughs> oh, I got one more three down. I'm, I'm counting it a win. Well, you yeah. just well. You guessed all your plug wires back into the right spot. All right, so let's help our old mate Kevy over there. Oh, let's not. Oh, yeah. Having lost the running race, we were still determined to win something that day. Okay, so yours runs. Yep. You don't have brakes. Nope. I got them right here, though. We should hopefully throw a carb on this and go. So, is it a race to, like, drivability or a race to aims or what? Uh, where, where do we draw the winner here? No, it's a race to aims. Race to aims? Race home. Okay. Time to rebuild this carb on the back of this Tang Tools box. Oh, Why is there a torch sitting here? <laughs> what if neither of us gets to Ames? Like, then we all lose. We all Rock, lose. paper, scissors for the trailer? Rock, paper, yeah. yeah. While I rebuilt the carburetor, Jaden set the work reinstalling the cap and rotor, which was unnecessarily stolen from us. Yeah. This is gonna be a disaster. Meanwhile, back on the truck, Angus was discovering how all his brake fluid had disappeared. This is the rubber brake line to the rear. So it looks like the fitting just corroded and Corroded. fell off. Oh, wow, okay. So, oh, yeah, that's a list. We'll get us a little cap for the master cylinder or one of the lines and our brakes will have to do. It's a race, it's not to see who can stop faster. I'm just gonna try and heat this up because we probably only get one chance that we snap it off. We absolutely won't have any brakes. I'm trying not to melt the plastic brake reservoir here. Getting it a little hot across our fingers. That's get a go or brake. It went. That's victory. Although I think our line is attached to it pretty good. While they worked on the rear brake line, we finished our carburetor and we're ready to put it back in. Good enough. Okay, back in. Let's get this thing running and get the heck out of here. All right, so our carb has got a new needle and seat. I got all the poop I cut out of it to try to get the um, main jets freed up at the cost of my vision. But hey, that's what you gotta do in revival races, right? Go ahead. Oh, the fuel pump. Yep. 
So you just clamp it in. We should try to get our timing a little better. It was at this point that the portable fuel tank I had made out of bits and pieces laying around the shop started to fail us entirely and turned out to be terrible at flowing fuel. We probably lost an hour's worth of time to this. Did you see that? What are we, what are, what is going on? We don't. We have fuel issues. This new tank actually sucks because it keeps building a vacuum within itself, and we can't overcome the kneeling seat pressure. To like, we got water hammer going on of the gas. Bah! <laughs> Should have never cut the fuel line. Your Should have just ran. <laughs> I know. I can't see you. Should have ran the mechanical pump the whole time, and would have been fine. Well, we can do that. We can hook it back up. Yeah, it doesn't. We can put that siphon tube back in maybe, and maybe that one has enough pressure to actually pull. Because they're made to pull. It should. Back on the W150. Oh. We put some brake fluid in it, like we said, and it was gushing out the rear line. We looked around for a cap to plug this front uh, this front line and couldn't find anything. Didn't even find a bolt that was close to the right size. So what we're going to do is we started stripping back this uh, armor, and uh, it's been a pain in the butt. We're just going to cut this line because it's the least rusty of all of them. I know I'm going to have to go back to the back and redo those eventually, but this one will be fairly easy to replace because it just goes down to the uh, proportioning valve right there under the uh, manifold. So I'm, I'm hoping that like a garden hose, if we cut it off and kink it a couple of times, it'll hold enough fluid to get us a couple miles and then we'll put some more in it. We'll only have front brakes, but uh, judging by the state of this thing, I don't want to go very fast anyway. So it's uh, we're kind of hedging our bet here. Uh, the van over there, I hear them starting almost to run, so that's making me a little nervous. I'm just trying not to rush myself too much and uh, sprunk myself. So we're gonna keep trying on this, and hopefully it'll hold. <laughs> we'll see, mom, if you're watching. I'll, I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe kink it a couple hundred thousand times. <laughs> it's still gonna leak. Oh shoot. So Angus is over here trying to skewer himself with this uh, fancy rust promoter that is factory on most vehicles of this vintage. Oh, you're almost there. I know. It's gonna pinch me. I know it. Get go go. Ah, okay, it did. All right, I'm moving on from all those noises. <laughs> Tricky. So if we just tighten that there, and just throw a bunch of bends in, like down here and start here and here. You want to just start pinching it with the dikes really hard, yeah. and then we'll just start it where it, wherever it kinks, and we can bend it over. Well, that's going good. Yep, it's going really good. Got the forearm strength of a zebra, maybe. Are those strong? No. At least <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe. As much of a bad idea as this is, there have been worse. I just can't bend it too far that it splits. Yeah. Oh, oh that'd be good right there. Oh god, you're gonna ruin it. Oh no, you're pulling an Angus knot. You alright? I just had a small stroke, I'm fine. Yeah. I think, since you didn't put a kink in it. Alright, go hit the brake pedal. Let's just see what happens. Well, I'll tell you what's gonna go happen. Really it's so gonna cool. go woo. Oh, yeah, right there. there. Let me see if I can. Here, let me give the old fucking squeeze the I'll end. Squeeze the end real quick. Yeah. I probably won't be able to make it move. Well, it 
shed at all? Yeah, it did. A little bit. Just leave it on there. <laughs> give give the brake pedal a press. <laughs> God, it might shoot up. Got anything? No, it ain't coming out. Do you have any pressure? Yeah, I've got a lot of pressure. All right, here, let's let me bleed it really quick. All right, so go all the way up. You up? I'm up. All right, press it. Down, down, down. Okay, pump it up. Close. All right, what do your brakes feel like? Feel solid as a rock. All right, let's drive it. Right. Did you put any training food in yet? We did not. Next. That's okay. why I'm holding this funnel. Okay. That's well, how this I, I got didn't here. Know if you were no, have no, no. You, get, you made a good point. I was about to put it on the ground. <laughs> Glad you said that. Which one? I was trying to get the air freshener off, and I just yanked it, and the whole thing came off. Didn't you just do this? I heard earlier today. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> oh, that's amazingly balanced. A, good job, Chrysler. It's the one thing you've done right. Yeah. You guys want to watch Tommy Boy when we get home? Transmission <laughs> guy, so. But I always buy garbage. Did you fall through the bed? There? Well, I said, did you fall through the bed, mate? No, I put the spare tire in the bed. Oh yeah, some weight. I'm not sure that it's gonna make it down the road yet. I didn't want to put it on the front. Hmm. All right, let's stick the dipstick back in and see if she moves. At this point, both teams were mere seconds from turning the key, throwing their vehicles in drive, and seeing if they could make it out of the hole first. <laughs> Okay, well, kind of. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're gonna move while they're playing around. Pull it. They're trying to move as well. Oh, we're gonna win. Our transmission doesn't shift. Solid seven with one stuck in. By now, our makeshift fuel can was failing us for at least the seventh time. Unfortunately for Jaden and I, the TBI guys were ready to roll.
is, ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the first annual Junkyard Digs Revival races. Thunderhead 289 and Angus Wacker. Well, the van guys are going to keep trying for a solid second place. in the lead, minus Yeah, unfortunately the frozen Iowa ground back in February was not very forgiving and the van was stuck in the mud. Of course the other team was super willing to give us a tow. Are we, is this admitting defeat? Yeah. It runs. It's, it it's just stuck because, you know, our spin is longer. Ah. You summoned the power of a thousand bullets to help you? <laughs> Good. Helps hold on to. What could go wrong? <laughs> We need a different fuel system. Yeah. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We've been wanting to do kind of a revival race for a long time. Uh, the whole, and we've also kind of wanted to do fuel injection. So I thought it was interesting that we had fuel injection versus carburetor set up. And we actually had the worst carburetor <laughs> we've ever had on a revival, ever. Well, I don't know. Satellite was worse, but no, we didn't bring no, the four barrel. This was enough. full of poop. Every passage was like packed full of this stuff. I lost my eyes trying to clean it out. Well, we had to check some stuff out first. I mean, it was yeah, the whole thing was give us a gift. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't obvious right away. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> did it. Oh. Did I? You probably flexed oh, the whole. Well, good thing there's a. You piece punched of... a hole through my bed. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't feel bad about not. No, not 100%. Right. No, not bad. We're good. Oh, 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 oh. Do we have he to always falls over. Do we have to redo that? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you're, you're probably blind by now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna be like, you're gonna into a tree. You're gonna Stevie Wonder this though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, make oh, sure you guys man. go subscribe to Thunderhead 289, Wacker Garage, myself here on Junkyard Digs, all our friends, Dylan McCool, uh, The Boss Garage, Vice Grip Garage, Cars and Cameras, Classic Bustings 429, that's it. No, junk move. Well, is that all the friends we have? Not very many. That's about it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. For you guys, that's a lot. Oh, fair enough. Look at us. You fall over all the time. Well, you know. <laughs>
Grindy McGrind feeling is, but that's probably fine. It's gonna be a long drive home. For the rest of the story on this truck, head over to Angus's YouTube channel, Wacka Garage.